Hey everybody, it's uh, Rob, and uh, in this video coming up, I'm going to show you how to uh, make a brush. I'm going to be making a cloud brush, and um, from the cloud brush, I'm going to paint a uh, sky uh, using that brush. <clears throat> so when you paint, when you're trying to make a brush, you have to uh, use a value from white to black. Uh, black being the most, it'll show up, and uh, as you get lighter, um, in value, uh, the more transparent the brush will be when you use it later. So this is me making the cloud brush. I'm basically going for like a, just a big fluffy cotton ball uh, cloud here. So, so yeah, just putting in little little small little details there, and and now I'm ready. Um, Oh, I was ready. There you go. Now I'm ready. Uh, so when you when you're making the brush uh, and you're and you're done, you have to select the brush, go to edit, and then uh, choose define brush preset. And um, it should automatically switch your brush to the brush that you just made. Uh, if not, you can go up to the brushes and uh, it should be on the bottom or the very top. Usually, it's on the very bottom. So here we go. Now I'm going to use the brush and paint a sky. And it's going to be a very quick painting. It's not going to be like a super super detailed sky, but uh, just enough for you guys to get the get the point here. Um, when you make the brush, you have to go into the the uh, brush presets and set the scattering and everything because it's not going to look the way you want it to if you just use it right off the bat. You have to set up some scattering so that it has um, see, as, as I make the uh, strokes there, you can you can see like there's it's it's pretty much making a bunch of little tiny versions of the brush I just made, and uh, if you group it together enough, you can get some nice quick effects for the for for, for the cloud. And sometimes it takes a second to to find the right presets. So right now I'm just messing with the color, I'm just trying to get some different colors in there so it wasn't just blue and white and I already have essentially right now I already have a pretty good base uh, with this brush that I just made and to go in there with maybe a couple different brushes and try to um, make the details a little more tight but I think I keep going um, Try to get the base as good as I can with this brush before uh, I can go in there and tighten it up. Right now I'm adding some environmental fog and stuff in the sky to push those clouds back. This way we have some depth to the clouds. That's another thing I do. I use the. Uh, you can see right now. I zoom in here. Yeah, you can see I use the uh, the smudge tool. I, I think it's called. I'm not even sure the name of the tool, but I use it to um, just kind of flare the clouds out a little bit. I think it has a a cool effect to it. it has a weird like stringy effect to the end of the clouds, or like a wispy effect, I should say, which I like. And actually, the only reason why I'm um, continuing getting so detailed with this uh, this painting here is because I'm actually going to be using this guy in another painting for another video coming up. So it's something to look forward to. I'm going to be painting some ruins in there and uh, stuff like that. So that'll be the next, probably the next painting I release uh, for you guys. It'll be something pretty cool. I hope. <laughs> but anyway, we're coming to the end of the video here. Um, just once again, to make the brush, it is uh, paint the brush uh, in variation of grayscale from black to white. When you're done, select the brush, go to edit, define brush preset, and you've just made a new brush.
So anyway, I hope this uh, helped you guys out a little bit. Um, hopefully you guys will make some brushes and, and start banging out some paintings from what you've learned here. Uh, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. And you check out my website, which is www.rob-joseph.com. Thanks. See you later.